Carla Fitzgerald with Smith Micro Software. Today we're speaking with Dave Sperling, Chief Technology Officer at Smith Micro. We're going to be talking about Windows 8. Good morning, Dave. How are you? Good morning, Carla. How are you? Great. There's a lot of excitement about Windows 8 in the market right now. I know you've been working with Windows platforms for many, many years. Tell us some of the things that you're excited about with Windows 8. Yeah, sure. So we've been working, Smith Micro that is, has been working with uh, Windows releases ever since Windows 3.1, working on fax and communication software back uh, many, many years ago. And we've grown up along with all of these Windows releases. And I think that Windows 8 specifically is probably the biggest leap forward for Microsoft since uh, Windows XP back in 2001. It provides a brand new touch user interface for both laptop and tablet users, as well as all the classic uh, compatibility with all the, your favorite applications. So Microsoft's really taken a, a UI look and taking some of the cues from the Xbox and bringing them to a consumer platform and bringing all of this new touch UI to, to the Windows experience. Specific to mobile broadband, what are some of the things that consumers and operators might see that are different with Windows 8? So in Windows 7, uh, Microsoft take a, took a big leap forward with the connectivity options and included for the first time mobile broadband support in uh, the out-of-the-box experience. They've taken that now to the next level and improved both the Wi-Fi and the mobile broadband connectivity uh, in terms of you know, doing basic connection management, connectivity for both Wi-Fi and enterprise networks as well as personal networks, and your mobile broadband device. What's really been changed is the ability for mobile operators to now enhance that experience with what we call mobile operator tiles. What happens when the user is, plugs in a mobile broadband device for the very first time, Windows will go interrogate that device, understand uh, the operator information on that subscriber SIM that would be inserted into the device, and actually automatically go to the Windows Store and download the right operator tile and put it right there on their desktop. So as soon as you uh, add a mobile broadband device or just power up your, let's say, mobile broadband-enabled tablet for the very first time, you're going to see an operator experience on your home screen. If there's not a tile provided by a wireless operator, what's the experience for the subscriber, for the end user? Well, the experience is very similar to what we see in Windows 7, where the user will be able to have basic connectivity, see signal strength, and connect and disconnect from the networks. But there's really no chance for operator branding or differentiation. So what the new tile provides is the ability for the operator to reach the consumer uh, or enterprise customer with new services, uh, and information about their mobile broadband account. So for example, this tile can provide the ability for a subscriber to see where they are in their monthly bill, under, understand the number of megabytes that they've used in their, let's say, five gigabyte plan, uh, as well as allow the operator to reach out to that subscriber and offer new services, upsell mobile broadband plans, and even sell uh, new products and services through their mobile operator tile. How would uh, the experience uh, of using a Wi-Fi device such as a Surface tablet, connecting through some other type of a broadband-enabled hotspot, smartphone, etc. Is there a special Windows 8 experience for those devices? Unfortunately not. So the mobile broadband experience we've been talking about so far is for USB dongles and embedded devices, anything that's hardwired connected uh, to, the, to the user's device. For uh, products like mobile hotspots and smartphones that are enabled with hotspot capability, Windows treats those as a regular Wi-Fi network uh, that would be unrestricted and unmetered. So unfortunately, Microsoft hasn't extended the mobile broadband experience uh, to the Puck mobile hotspot or hotspot-enabled phone. But those are some of the things that Smith Micro is working on. And what we've done with our work with Soda and other technologies is to enable mobile hotspots uh, with Smith Micro technology to then have those hotspots extend out and, and be able to communicate with the Smith Micro Tile application. And now we can treat mobile hotspots as a first class citizen and as a mobile broadband device. And this is really important for mobile operators because they want to treat uh, this increasingly large market of mobile hotspots just like they would a USB modem or embedded device. They want to have a subscriber experience. They don't want that subscriber to think they're connected through a unmetered free Wi-Fi connection. They want to treat that subscriber just like they would uh, any, any other. They want a message to that subscriber, upsell them, understand where they are in their plan, reduce bill shock, and do all the things that they would with a USB or embedded device. And that's what Smith Micro provides. Is one of the concerns looking for new ways to engage 
consumers? Yeah, exactly. The, the mobile hotspot, hotspot through a phone, those devices are exploding. And what the carrier needs to look at is how they engage those types of users. And by working with Smith Micro, we can have a single Windows 8 operator tile that can handle all of their USB devices embedded, as well as all their future mobile hotspots and smartphones that they'll be launching in the years to come. How important are standards in the ability to apply this technology across so many different types of operating system versions, hardware platforms, et cetera? What Microsoft has done uh, to really make this Windows 8 mobile broadband experience possible is they've worked for a long time with a standards organization called USBIF, USB Implementers Forum. And this standard is called MBIM, Mobile Broadband Interface Model. It's, a, it's an acronym, but what it actually provides is a very consistent uh, set of APIs over USB that Microsoft can depend on to actually bring this mobile broadband experience uh, up into the Windows 8 operating system. So this new standard is now emerging, and device OEMs now need to implement this new standard to be able to be Windows 8 certified. The beauty of this standard is that it allows the device OEMs to concentrate on their hardware devices, and the software side of things is taken care of by operating system vendors like Microsoft and products provided by Smith Micro. Before MBIM, there was a lot of customization and custom work that device OEMs would need to do to provide proprietary USB interfaces. By doing that, they also then had the burden of creating USB drivers for a variety of operating systems, including Mac, Windows, legacy versions, Linux, and others. With MBIM, because the standards are now in the USB interface, the device OEMs no longer need to worry about proprietary uh, set of APIs from their device, and they no longer need to worry about uh, USB drivers for a variety of operating systems. Smith Micro is going to be providing support for MBIM devices and alternative operating systems like Windows 7, Windows Vista, and XP, as well as Mac uh, OS X, and really alleviate the device OEM from doing software and they can concentrate on their hardware. What are some of the ways in which having these new uh, features available and extending these tiles and extending the, the experience for broadband, what are some of the ways that that's allowing operators to offer new business models? Smith Micro has embedded captive portal technology into our, into our mobile hotspot product, and that enables carriers to push down uh, certain experiences that will captivate and, and bring uh, the subscribers to a landing page. This landing page uh, can provide information about the, the subscriber getting close to their data plan, provide upsell opportunities, uh, for the user for not only upgrading to, their, to the next tier data plan, but also new products and services. And also will enable the carrier to not only reach the subscribers, but the subscribers' guests. So these mobile hotspots are not only used by the subscriber, but their business partners and, and uh, personal friends, and it allows the operator to message to these potentially new subscribers as well. Operators are looking at ways to subsidize the cost of data through ad partners, through uh, data sponsor models uh, with large brands, uh, even through uh, you know kind of the 1-800 uh, data concept. Are some of these things being looked at and, and being deployed uh, commercially, or are these still just ideas? With our captive portal technology, as well as our ability to remotely manage this device, it really opens up a ton of new business opportunities for mobile operators to experiment and try new business models. Uh, anything from ad monetization uh, to search partners, uh, as well as bringing new products and services, even ideas like sponsored data, all of these things are now possible because the tools are now, uh, at the, uh, are now available to the carriers on the mobile hotspot itself, and, and Smith Micro can also help bring that uh, experience up into the Windows 8 tile. Why is it that carriers are turning to Smith Micro to help with this? Isn't this something they can just build themselves in-house? We have uh, more than 10 years of experience helping uh, carriers actually launch data devices into market, all the way back to, to you know, early versions of Windows 2000 and Windows XP. It really takes a software ISV and a software partner uh, experience in mobile broadband to, to bring these products to market. A very simple operator tile is nice, but it doesn't engage the user and, and work with the rest of the carrier backend services. You really need to find a partner like Smith Micro with a deep knowledge of mobile broadband and the new mobile broadband standards like MBIM 
to get the most out of the Windows 8 tile uh, and to really set the carrier up for success in the Windows 8 world. We really feel that, that Windows 8 is going to be a, a great product for Microsoft and a huge launch. Operators really need to start looking at building their operator tile if they haven't already done so and give Smith Micro a call and start working with us uh, to bring that mobile experience and that operator brand out to Windows 8. It's a great opportunity for them to extend their brand to the next generation of mobile devices and they need to really get started now. Thanks so much. You're welcome. That was Dave Sperling, Chief Technology Officer at Smith Microsoftware, and we've been talking about Windows 8.